guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. And you guys love the two guest videos so much that I decided to do it again here. And I am joined on voice by Colton W83 and Sir Tag. Guys, how you doing? What's going on? Good. Ready to play some games. I'm amped, man. I'm ready for the new card. Yes, we were going to talk about the new card. Update day was yesterday. So, you know, uh, some of you may or may not have checked out the update, checked out the new card and stuff. But first, before what we're going to do for the video format today is going to be uh, I've had both of these pros pre select wall breaker decks. They're going to play head to head using these decks. This is not like a pro versus pro super official video. It's more like a casual. We're going to try the new card, talk about possible use cases, talk about possible decks that it could fit into we're also going to talk about the strength of the card or lack thereof and we're going to talk about the update in general so guys uh do you want to go ahead and just hop into our first match and we'll kind of get your your first opinions yeah sounds good yeah all right cool so uh okay when you guys were, were picking out well you know before i talk about deck strategy and stuff like that give me your first thoughts on the card uh tag go first I think it's a little bit underwhelming for three elixir. I think it should probably be a little bit less elixir and then nerfed a little bit, or it should be doing death damage after it's killed. So like, say goblins kill it and intercept it between your opponent's tower and the bridge. I feel like it should do some damage or at least half the damage to the goblins. I think it's really underwhelming for three elixir. It just doesn't fulfill anything. Yeah. Colton? I'd be inclined to agree with most of that. I think any of those buffs or like a health buff would be the way to go for sure. Yeah, I'm in agreement. Here we go. First wall. Oh, look at that. What a dud. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm just going to be a little bit more aggressive than you guys. Not to be a hater. Because, you know, overall, I knew the update was going to be small. And, like, I'm fine with it. Whatever. I'm waiting for the big feature update. And I actually do like the little tweaks that they made to the uh, the private tournaments very selfishly. And the new gold. Extra gold and, and, and stuff. Here I am, like, apologizing for my really negative critique on the card. But I don't like... I hate the card, man. I think it's, like... I'm surprised that it's an epic, first of all. It's very unexciting for an epic card, right? It's so simple, the mechanic-wise. I just don't understand. Here we go again, though. This time we actually might hit the tower. This could be the use case! Hey, wow! Look at him, that! Chief. Hey, dude, as I'm talking so much smack about the card, it's like, boom, boom, thousand damage, or 800, whatever it is. But uh, <laughs> I just think that it, it, it's kind of unexciting, and I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. And look at this, like two times in a row here. It looks like we're gonna get to the tower again. So, dude, oh, let me ask you: damage. a minute just, and thirty, mm. a minute, a minute and forty seconds into this into this match, <laughs> are you guys? You both just reached the tower with a wall breaker. Do you guys have a change of opinion this early on? Mm. I mean, I think it's okay with Goblin Giant. The Goblin Giant removes a lot of the uh, yeah, the, the swarm that could yeah. yeah yeah. So I mean, similar to just having it behind a tank is like the best case scenario, I think. Yeah. Even if they had a defense, it could be like really effective, maybe to taking it out. Yeah. I mean, giant, giant and goblin giant were the things I thought it would be best with, so it doesn't surprise me entirely. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be as useless as the bomber, but I do feel oh, God, like I it's. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I don't think it's gonna be as useless as the bomber, but I do feel like it's uh, it's hurting for three elixir. I agree with. I'm not sure who said it first, but I agree with uh, you guys that it does feel like. Maybe not a two elixir, but I think Colton, you were saying like a two point five elixir card, right? Yeah, for sure. Oh I no! Oh, double <laughs> over, dude! I, I like how we're all talking smack about the card and has done more damage than any other card, pretty much in this in this match so far. Uh, yeah. OP. We're gonna change our opinion. Hit the record button again. It's an OP new card. Uh, but I I think that the one the one easy change is maybe give it a a, a very small health increase. That way it can... Ooh, that was kind of a close match there. Yeah, uh, it was TGS. crazy. I think I would have won at the end there if I had like five seconds. Yeah, yeah. five more seconds I lost. I, I, mess, <laughs> I messed up on that one defense though. I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. Let's let's go right into the next one. But yeah, oh, I think yeah. that if they add like a little bit more HP so both of them can get to the tower if, 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 if used as a pressure card in the opposite lane so they have to be responded to. But then again, 400 damage is a lot, even if one gets to the tower, you know? Yeah, is there any way that it doesn't die, or the first one doesn't die to the uh, the tower? Like, if both of them connect to the tower, I feel like that would be really solid. Is there any way to, like, buff it? In front of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Four elixir know. increases health a little bit, I guess. Yeah, it just doesn't feel epic to me. I guess that's my major complaint. Is it feels like it feels such like a common card, man. It should be like right alongside the bomber, in my opinion. But either way, and I feel like it's very redundant to uh, to fire spirits. You know, and a lot of people in the comments and all our videos, I'm sure, if you guys don't know that Sir Tag and Colton both have access to the dev build, they both uh, well actually Tag, I know, so you didn't release a uh, an update video, but you ha you yeah. can in the future. So subscribe to their YouTube channels, guys. They'll all be in the links below and uh yeah I, I was noticing a lot of people saying just fire spirits they're like fire spirits except for they cost one more and they can't hit air and that's a good point you know uh one second i'm about to join sure all right sounds good so what do you guys think yeah. about like the update in general moving on from just the wall breakers it seems like so all of our opinions together are wall breakers and we'll see throughout these matches too but all of our opinions are they're kind of meh you know i really like the trade fix i was really tired of yeah. just consistently like trying to get that ram rider and i would have to message people on discord and ask them yo what do you want to trade but now it's uh, a little bit more conventional i can reliably put up a request and get it fulfilled so that's something that i'm going to be looking forward to yeah that's colton, i think the best thing yeah colton you feel the same way about that or yeah absolutely yeah it's way but it, it's just gonna be way better for trades I think so too. I think a lot of people were kind of really skeptical about it. Like, is this really going to solve things? And that remains to be seen if it if it does solve everybody's issues. But there's no doubt about it, in my opinion. At the very least, it's a step in the right direction, right? Yeah. Yeah. I also, I also really like the uh, tournament feature. I think that was a nice uh, touch up to things. Why? What do you mean the global tournament thing? The mini collection? Uh, so for private tournaments. Oh, I think that was okay. The Adding the losses possible, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so Fnatic is like having uh, tournaments now, and it was just really hard because you would uh, only see decks that are beat down in the top mm -hmm. like three or four because they would mm -hmm. win a game and they would three crown and they would move on to the next one super fast. Mm -hmm. But now you're able to see like control decks like Expo actually thrives because as soon as the beat down players like Giant Three Musketeers they lose a couple games, they're not going to be back and uh, able to play. So I like that a lot. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I'm with you there. I think that I can't wait to host like 24 hour tournaments and put the five losses on there. And then it actually, it's actually viable and fun because I tried hosting a 24 hour tournament and it, it was awful. It sucked. Uh, I know. We'll see. <laughs> there were so many memes about that. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a no go. It was a no go. But it, what are you going to do? You, you, you got to try it out at least. Uh, so talk a little bit about your decks here. Colton, you're trying in mega spam, I see. Mega bait. Yeah, and I haven't found a time to use it yet. <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, tag, likewise, you're trying to invade, and you also haven't found a time to use it yet. Yeah, no, I just don't want to lose the game, so I'm not going to be dropping it. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the only kind of time it's good is behind like a like a giant. Yeah. Or a goblin giant. Yeah. yeah, maybe behind a Mega Knight for uh, for Colton here might be an yeah, interesting. I use thought case about it and then decided I didn't want to. <laughs> Well, here comes a big push here for Colton, Mega Knight, but Prince is there for, uh, it's funny, Tag's a Prince hater, but he's not afraid oh, to use him. Oh! Oh, oh that's not good. That's I think, I think the wall workers were irrelevant there, but they got there. <laughs> I think, yeah, one got to the tower, but yeah, you would have probably had it either way. So a tower trade there with 30 seconds left. This one's going to overtime, baby. Colton so, just did it to assert dominance. Just had to. <laughs> I'm going to keep distracting you with as many questions as I, as I can. So, uh, <laughs> the, uh, go, 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 go. go. All right. Well, I mean, we'll... they are they're fast. They have that going for them. Yeah, and, they're... and they don't die to log alone. So you have to do a little bit of damage on top of it. That time, the princess or something did a little splash damage and the log. Yeah. So Colton connects for a little bit of damage here. Three seconds left. Let's pay attention to the end of this match. Then we'll ah! go on to, go on to balance changes. So Zach... Come on, connect! Oh, oh boom! Op. I gotta Op. say, guys, you know, eh. they're not they're not awful. Could they appear? Make a prediction here. We got a uh, hundred hundred thousand gems are on the line. Will they appear in CRL uh, more than like a niche card like Goblin Giant yes. did a few times? They will be buffed. Uh, yeah. so <laughs> they they're gonna buffed, go yes. the route of the bar barrel, huh? <laughs> so, yep, two super, elixir. <laughs> super Cell is gonna keep buffing and buffing and be like, okay, screw it, we're gonna make him two elixir. Play him. <laughs> we're always recruit the same thing too. Yeah. Oh so, man. All right, so this is actually a, a really good match here we have going on. It's just here, so. hard because it's like playing them in the back is like so bad. Yeah, but, and I feel like yeah. you can't 
split them unless you have like royal hogs or something, you know? Uh, I mean, I don't think there's any. I feel like I should game. do damage to the uh, girl rascals there. It feels so underwhelming to have that not just do die. Yeah, nothing I mean, happens. Only, only does only targets towers, so it's like yeah. That's true. Like if they died before they reached the tower, they should do maybe a little bit of damage, not four hundred yeah. or something, but yeah, maybe two hundred or something. I yeah. don't know. They're they're just making my cycle really bad. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh man all right close one so that was a good match though so let's talk balance guys uh what do you uh, by the way i got winner of the uh next match here okay <laughs> i want to i really want to lose on on video i'm really dying to lose uh so i'm gonna try by the way guys i'm gonna play this deck so watch out oh i figure i can combo them with this card maybe guys you know like behind that, especially if they have like a defense. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So uh, balance, guys. Talk to me about because uh, we should be getting a balance information probably Friday of this week, which is in a few days. So do you guys, uh, if you could maybe choose like two cards to buff and two cards to nerf. I don't know if you have cards on the top of your head, but you know, Colton, what would you what would you choose? Uh, nerf freeze, absolutely. Uh. <sighs> what what else you can chime in two tag if you have really anything. Yeah. really i just really hate freeze um i think you're not alone <laughs> yeah i don't i, I you know like kind of when i oh i a mortar mortar i guess as well um nothing major maybe not mortar maybe the swarm cards in mortar yeah mortar bait kind of one, one one or the other not i don't know if mortar the card deserves it because it's only viable in swarm variants mm-hmm um, maybe, maybe like a dark gob or not even dark gob because dark gob's not in all of them. I don't know. I thought horde could use a nerf for a long time, but it's so hard to nerf. Yeah. Uh, yeah maybe, maybe, one. maybe goblin game, but then I feel bad about log bait. So, I mean, it's almost like, eh, the easiest solution is just to nerf the mortar. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, something in mortar and absolutely freeze, like freeze and no more like light nerfs, like freeze needs like a hard nerf. Yeah, for sure. Feel free to accept yeah. the uh, the battle there too. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, uh, Tag, what about you? Any uh, or why don't you guys talk about buffs? I, I imagine your nerf list is very similar to Colton's. Uh, fat nerf to freeze, fat nerf to mortar, <laughs> fat nerf to dark goblin, back to where it was, and those are the top three for me. Dark goblin I'm, does not deserve to be as good as it is. I'm fine with all of those. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, okay. Well, I'm gonna let you guys give your opinion, then I'll give mine. What about buffs? Like, just choose like maybe one card that you think needs a buff. Um, I would choose knight. Okay, Not, I like Knight. that. I like Knight as well. I like Knight as well. I, I think that's a smart move because it, it does feel like if the game's in kind of a weird state where it's not like the meta is super exciting or anything, but at the same time, if you have to choose cards to buff, like it, it's hard at this point. You know, there's so many cards, and you know that everything affects more than one card. But what what I did want to ask both of you guys too is, and Colton playing Giant with the uh, wall breakers and tag is running hog lumberjack with the wall breakers here but what I, I see a lot of people asking a lot especially on twitter and stuff a lot of pro players saying why don't so why doesn't supercell uh allow pros to choose the balance changes or 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 take more pro feedback and i know they actually do take some pro feedback but you know i guess the counter argument to that would be and i'm not saying that i don't think that that has credibility that idea but i guess the counter argument would be like it's so tricky to balance this game for pro players at tournament level standard to players at top of ladder and for free to play players or just regular players who are in like the four to 5,000 trophy range because things are so different in all of those metas. So, you know, do, what, how do you guys feel about, about balancing philosophy in general? Like feel free, either of you who have any opinions on it, feel free to take it. I think Rumham has done a pretty good job. Um, and I, I think it's also really hard to integrate the pro community into uh, balances, at least how it is right now. A lot of the pros that are playing CRL and are affiliated with teams, if you get them in uh, the balance changes or you get them to uh, like have feedback on this type of stuff, I feel like it's uh, it's really hard because if they knew about anything that's uh, game breaking or anything like early, like let's say Surgical Goblin knew about the balance changes early, I feel like he would be able to practice for CRL and use that to his advantage. And I feel like that probably wouldn't be uh, the best thing for for the game you know mm -hmm. so, where's the bm where's the bm colton he froze <laughs> i know right <laughs> yeah so yeah do you pretty much agree with that colton uh yeah i mean 
it's it's like and people are biased so yeah. yeah so let's say you have dan gannon doing expo even if he i mean i think he's a really fair guy and he wouldn't ever noticeably like do anything like oh yo like uh i really hate bar barrel i, I mean like he would probably have a uh, different opinion on bar barrel compared to someone that plays golem or uh giant giant graveyard with uh, bar barrel or uh even like graveyard freeze with bar barrel i feel like there's a huge difference you know and yeah. just uh, play style no, I totally get that. I totally kind of hear that. And that's why I think that, just like you guys have kind of mentioned, I feel like there's no real perfect way to, to balance, to make everybody happy, which is really tricky. Yeah, subconscious bias is a big deal. Yeah, for sure. All right, who, who wants to play me? Which one of you guys wants to face the CWA monster here? Yeah, I'll face you. All right, let's do this. I'm going to use this. My idea, guys, is this with this might actually be pretty good. If you you know what I'm saying, right? The stuff that uh, that he, he drinks. <laughs> is that a giveaway? <laughs> All right. So, uh, guys, what do you want to see out of the next big update? Should be uh, tag. Feel free to take it here. But the big uh, March slash April update, this is kind of like Clusher already came out and said this is going to be more of a small one. So, so what are you guys looking for? I am optimistic, man. I have two things that I'm wishing for on my wish list. Number one is definitely going to be improvements to Clan Wars. Clan Wars are quite lackluster here at Legendary League. Purple, just chilling here. Thousands of trophies above my mini account. And I'm still playing level nine. So I feel like a bully in Clan Wars with completely maxed out cards. And I just don't think it's fair. I think that they need to add some type of integrated matchmaking system or a new league where there's separation and where competitive clan wars are a thing again. I remember at the very start, FA versus Wham, and that was all over Twitter. Everyone was energized and amped up to play. So I think that was number one for me. If there was improvements to clan wars. I think the game will become a lot more fun and less stale for a lot of people. Interesting. Uh, the next, okay. yep. yeah, yeah, so the next thing would definitely end up being competitive 2v2, 2v2 in grand challenges, or 2v2 quests. The 2v2 quests that they have right now, even though the rewards aren't too great that they're adding like almost weekly, those are really, really fun to do with uh, real life friends. I remember in high school, one of the things that I used to do was uh, I used to play a lot of computer games and uh, I ended up getting into, uh, <laughs> I ended up getting into WoW a little bit. And that was because my friends uh, consistently wanted me to do quests with them. So. It's just that element of, I guess it's kind of bad, but peer pressuring your friends into doing games with you. <laughs> um, it would be really great for Clash Royale to have a similar feature where you can uh, play with your friends and it's kind of, I don't know, I guess like Clash Royale is more so, I hate to say it, it's more of like a lonely game where it's uh, really only 1v1. Yeah. And I guess you can 2v2, but it's you're not getting rewards, you're not getting progression. You can yeah, no only go and grind grand challenges by yourself or grind ladder by yourself. And those are the only things you're really getting something from or getting a reward. If they integrate something with 2v2, I think it could be great for increasing the player base, increasing the retention rate of their players, and just increasing the amount of people or playtime in general. So they would definitely get a lot more money and revenue. So I think that would be great for uh, Clash Royale if they integrated that. No, I totally, I, I totally agree with you. I like your thought process uh, there. Tag. I feel like, th but first of all, I feel like I know how difficult it is to play at the same time now. Uh, I'm like on the other <laughs> side of, of my uh, my normal, like my guest feel. But uh, one thing I would say is, it, just to piggyback on that point that you made, is I feel this kind of a weird thing to say, but I actually feel like the game needs to account better for people as someone who sucks at the game. Like, they need to do a better job. They need to do a better job at uh, taking care of people who aren't that good. Like, yeah. when you're not that good, I mean, and I don't mean that in a bad way, like, oh boy, I'm about to get three crowned. Uh, I don't mean that in a derogatory way or a bad way in any stretch of the imagination. I just mean that, like, at this point in the game, just like you said, it's kind of a 1v1 game, right? It's like, okay, I need to do this or die, or I'm going to die. Oh man. Dude, you really got me on that first Lumberjack Freeze, freeze bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Freeze user! I'm going to pull a Surgical <laughs> Goblin and BM you. Oops. Oops, I don't have any emotes. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> no, but like, okay, so it's kind of elaborating on what I was saying. I feel like they need to just create a game mode, like you were saying, 
that's it's it's it, it uses different elements of skill. I'm not asking them to make it a skillless game, but like give a reason for casual players to play and not feel like frustrated by uneven levels on ladder all the time. Like I would love to see King of the Hill. That's my number one. Your number one is like an improvement oh, to yeah. Clan Wars, but or a new league system. But I just want to see like King because I love watching King of the Hill. And granted, it's still individual play. But you feel like you're in it with some teammates. Okay, I lost this one, yeah. but my teammates will pick me up. And I imagine that's how it felt, Colton, in, in real life, you know? Like, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, and a lot of people like the, the 1v1 aspect, but for, I think it's really cool that you can have team aspects. Of course, 2v2 does it more directly, um, but both 2v2 and King of the Hill make it more fun for me because mm -hmm. you, you have more of a feeling of like camaraderie. Yeah, uh, and you're and you're working together with people. As a, I mean, one v one's great, but that's what the game is primarily composed of. So getting a different experience is really cool. Cool, um, you, and those uh, are all those are all uh, experiences that are like unique to like competitive players that could be shared with the rest of the community, in my opinion. For sure. Do you guys want to play one more uh, against each other? Yeah, sounds good. Go? Yeah, right. do one more. The decks ready. E. E. Okay, I guess so. Take that as a yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Colton, do you have any? Uh, <laughs> Do you have any uh, any ideas on top of those that, that Tag and I mentioned that you really want to see in the next update? I mean, I don't want it to be a card. I don't want it to be another arena. I want it to be something of sub. I don't want touchdown mode either. I want no gimmicky game modes. I want a real life competitive, but yet oh. different game mode inside the game. What do you uh at? Oh, I thought it was gonna hit. I. Yeah, I did too, actually, the last oh, one. Oh, I, I, I totally missed My hopes, it. dreams, and aspirations <laughs> in my arms. So, yeah, did you have anything else, uh, Colton? What or is heck? that pretty much the same stuff? Yeah, I mean, 2v2, like, having a competitive mode so other people can experience it and enjoy it would be really nice. Um, the clan war improvements. Uh, I don't know. I See, like, I, of course, it's hard to come up with, like, your idea for, like, a big feature. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, th those all sound really good to me. I don't know that I have any other besides like, I mean, I really like the UI fixes they did this time. I think those were all like in line and then balance, balance suggestions, mm -hmm. uh, just, just freeze nerf and mortar nerf are the big ones for me. Yeah. But uh, uh, those, those make me happy. I'm, I'm fairly satisfied with the state of the game besides freeze, honestly. Yeah. yeah I just, I guess I, fat nerf. I guess just as a content creator, I tend to think of like the, <laughs> what can get more people playing the game <laughs> than no, selfishly no, watching my, you know? Yeah. Uh, but I am curious that both of you mentioned 2v2. So, you know, uh, especially like, well, either of you. So you guys are 100% believers in 2v2 as a competitively viable mode, it sounds like. I mean, I'm I'm biased because my 2v2 team had the highest win yeah. rate of every Well, you guys took it seriously and, earlier yeah. than a lot of other teams did, I felt like. Yeah, and we maintain like dominance throughout the season. We finish undefeated in two v two in the playoffs. Uh, so I mean, I enjoy it. I I, I didn't uh, think it was a good idea going into it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's weird to say, kind of like what Tag said, when you're like forced to play it. Yeah. Uh, or like you play with your friends, peer pressure or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it, it is really uh, it is really really fun once you get a hang of it. And I feel like if people had a reason to play it, they would understand that more. I Maybe you. I'm wrong, but like I think the more uh, as you play it, you uh. You begin to realize how fun it can be, and uh, it is very skillful. I think it's less matchup dependent than one v one, but I was also winning all the time, so maybe that's biased. <laughs> yeah, maybe subconscious. I don't know. I think it's less uh, dependent on matchup as well. I think. I think it's more dependent lot. on communication. Like, exactly. sure, like people are like, oh, it's not skillful, but I mean, it depends on what your definition of skill is. It's a different skill. It's, I mean, obje entirely objectively, if you look at your guys' win rate compared to like the highest one v one win rate, I think it's like. I don't it know. Would, it would approve, like approve that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, you definitely saw early on that teams that really took it seriously had like a huge edge, like Immortals Complexity and NA and SK Gaming and EU. Like those teams really did so well, and especially like even uh, in, like Ponos with like specialists, like, you know, like similar to you guys, similar to like a lot of the teams that took it seriously. They had like a huge edge when it came to uh, the playoffs because they had been working on it all season. Whereas some teams, I felt like really, really started to focus on it more towards the end of the season when they noticed other teams focusing. When they're like, "Oh no, this is really important." What? Exactly. All right, so miners oh, doing a lot of damage here, but flying Don't machine, do this to me. flying machine, <laughs> OP. <laughs> no, <laughs> flying machine clutch at the end. 
Guys, thank you so much for doing this video. Uh, mm. Colton coming on strong at the end there. I, all he needed was a win from Ash to boost his confidence. That's all. Uh, <laughs> just bully me. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> but nah, seriously, what's going on in both of your YouTube channels? Uh, I really hope that Colton ups the upload frequently uh, frequency. Oh, so yeah. you go first, Colton. <laughs> What's 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 what can we expect from oh. your uh, from your channel? Well, a video or two would be a good start. Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> I'm just trying to get more like ladder gameplays and stuff. Like yeah. I do it. I just need to get it uh get it out. Trying to like stream more on Twitch as well. People and love then, ladder, man. Yeah, and then try to take some of those uh those and just have a bunch of more gameplays. And then I have some unique ideas, and I do some like on the the video I did for the the uh the new update i did a decent amount of editing and that was on short notice so i can do some editing and try to make it that uh a bit unique but mainly just you know the gameplay stuff that pros do and trying to help people improve yeah uh tag what about you yeah so for me i'm going to be doing daily content as per usual mm -hmm. and it's going to be just a lot of gameplay uh, on top of that i might end up doing some da daily double uploads i'm not sure when i will incorporate that but when i do it's going to be a pro tip video so Awesome. Whether it's going to be about 2.9 Expo, 2.6 Hog Rider, or another one of your guys' favorite decks, I'll be uploading tips completely revolving around that deck, and there will be a whole bunch of interactions to get you better at it. Fantastic. Well, uh, I'll be looking forward to both of those. I love like when you go in depth on a certain deck uh, tag, and on Colton, I love. I don't know like if I'm being selfish here, but I love your long videos, like the 45 minute going really in depth on a on a certain strategy or element of the of the game. So, guys, keep up the great work, and thanks so much for uh, coming on the channel. All my viewers, make sure you go subscribe and turn on those bells there for uh, for Colton W83 and Sir Tag uh, CR. Is that the name, the official name of your channel? Yeah, it is. Okay, sure cool. Takes, yeah. Well, either way, the links will be in the show notes. That's the easier way to do it. And check out their player stats and profiles. Thanks to StatsRail.com. Guys, thanks for doing this. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me, man, once again. No problem. Thanks, Ash. No problem. Guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to Brent Chong, my YouTube partner. Check out his information as well as tagging Colton's in the show notes below. Thanks, and as always, take care, guys.